Okay. Read it in your own time. Mm -hmm. But in a nutshell, the main fundamental message of Islam is worship God alone. He is the one who created you. And imagine, I'll give you a simple scenario. You have a mother and father, yeah? Okay, they brought you up, they looked after you, they fed you to this age. Imagine you turn to your mom and dad say, you've done nothing for me. I'm going to thank Ali. My name's Ali. You're going to say, I'm going to say thank you to Ali. How would they feel? Betrayed. Betrayed. So now, Barakafi, yeah? Thank Sorry, you. yeah. So they will feel betrayed. They will feel like you're being ungrateful to them. Now, what we say is, we don't say God has feelings and gets hurt, but we say God is the one. Do you tell your heart to beat? No. Do you tell your uh, lungs to breathe? More or less, but... Not really. But, but, yeah. <laughs> lungs, they, 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 they breathe, the heart, yeah? The food that we eat, to the health that we have, to the family that we have, the fact that we can walk, all of these are the blessings of God. Now imagine I go and say I'm going to find this tree. It's blasphemy. This is one thing in Islam that God doesn't forgive. And what's different with Christianity and Islam is the following. In Christianity, God requires blood sacrifice. Islam says no. Nobody needs to die, no blood sacrifice. If you sinned, you don't need to. I think as Catholic, you go to the priest and confess. In, is, in Islam, you don't go to any man. You go to God. How? If you sinned, you say, God, forgive me. But Christians believe in, if you pray enough, yes. not enough, yeah. my, my priest told me, yeah. I don't have to go to him or anyone else. Yes. I just have to pray and talk, tell God about it, what yes. bothers me. Good. And that's enough. Good. But when it comes to sins confessing, do you need to go to the priest or can you repent where you are? Good. So in Islam, what we say is the same. That we do not go to any man. If we sinned, we repent. And, and there's a hadith of the Prophet Muhammad, which means what he said. He said, if the sins of Adam, we're the sons of children of Adam. If his sins were to reach the mountains and the skies, God will forgive every single one of them, except shirk. You know what shirk is? Okay, shirk is associating partners. So if somebody comes and says, I think Jesus is God, or I think this tree is God, or I worship this, or I worship that. That is the only thing God doesn't forgive. Anything other than that, God will forgive. So the main message of Islam is what worship him alone. Okay. Yeah? Okay. If you have any questions, I'm here till 8 p.m. Okay. There's some material that I've given you. Thank my name you. is Ali Dawa on YouTube. You can watch my videos and many other wonderful brothers here. So watch it. If you have any questions to start, I'm here every Sunday from 1.30 to 8 p.m. Feel free to come and ask. Wonderful. Thank you, Sister Madeline. Thank you. May God really guide nice. you. It was nice. And I can see you're a sincere person. And inshallah, one day, you will accept Islam. <laughs> Inshallah. Yeah, but one thing I'll leave you with. Before you open this book that I gave you, pray to God sincerely. I came to Islam 10 years ago, by the way. I was not Muslim yet. So 13 years ago, I started looking into Islam. And after three years, I accepted Islam. Yeah. So I did one thing. I just prayed to God. I said, if you're there, guide me to the truth. Whatever it is. Christianity, I accept Christianity. Judaism, I accept Judaism. But I don't know if you can be a Jew. It's a bit hard. But I said, Genuinely, I'm looking for the truth. And Jesus says this in the Bible. Seek the truth and the truth shall set you free. So all I will say is pray to the God and say, God, if this message is true, whichever message, show me the way. God will send you signs. It's up on you to take the signs or reject them. But I believe you're sincere. So I believe in science, but I need... No problem. In the, the science said, yeah. you need God to believe in something. Every yeah. person, every single person yeah. has to believe in something. Yeah. And if it's not God, it's something else. Exactly. But you have to believe in anything. Do you see what he said there? It's very powerful. Because Allah says in the Quran, have you seen the one who takes his desires as his own God? So, what you said is correct. Every single one of us believe in some kind of a God. For some people, their God is money. For some people, their God is the opposite gender. For some people, their God is painting for some people that god is statues but we say worship the one true god that is where you will find your true freedom because all these other things are man-made everything in this universe is created we say worship the one that created the creation yeah thank you thank you sister madeline uh, we don't shake hands out oh. of respect no forgive me i should tell you that before no. it's because we have respect that's why yeah so it's like you know the queen you can't go to the queen you know anybody can shake uh, shake her hand just out of that. Thank you very much, sister. Okay. If I can just have the mic. Sure. Thank you very much. And if you, yes, if you ever have questions, I'm here. Thank, Thank you. Thank you and read them. And don't forget to do the prayer. Yeah? <laughs> <I won't forget. laughs> Thank you, sister Thank Madeline. You. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, guys, very sincere. She seemed very 
lovely uh, sister, may Allah bless her, and guide her inshallah. And you can see the sincerity, sometimes you can sense the sincerity. And our job is to convey, she didn't know much about Islam, so I didn't want to, you know, and she had to go as well. Uh, so we don't want to be a bit forceful, etc. because she doesn't know nothing about it. So we've given the literature, we've given the Quran, and inshallah, she makes dua, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala answers it by guiding her. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Yeah. Bunu yeah, mikrofonu yeah. bunun üstüne koydu gördüm ama gelemedi. Tell him, tell him şey yap. Uh, turn this off. Guys, can you come get your mics? Is any more? Yeah, next time see. Yeah, well, I'm gonna say. <laughs> Bro, you know when you man are putting when you're putting a microphone, don't put it on top of his uh, microphone, please. Okay. You know when you're putting a microphone on Ali Dawa, yeah? Can you see his microphone? Don't put it on top because the mic he's got 